Good morning, everybody. My name is Daniel Pello, coming to you here for First Presbyterian Church in Covington, Virginia. I to start out this Friday morning with a scripture reading from Luke chapter 5, verses 12 through 26. Once, when he was in one of the cities, there was a man covered with leprosy. When he saw Jesus, he bowed with his face to the ground and begged him, Lord, if you choose, you can make me clean. Then Jesus stretched out his hand, touched him, and said, I do choose. Be made clean. Immediately the leprosy left him, and he ordered him to tell no one. Go, he said, and show yourself to the priest, and as Moses commanded, make an offering for your cleansing for a testimony to them. But now more than ever the word about Jesus spread abroad. Many crowds would gather to hear him and to be cured of their diseases. But he would withdraw to deserted places and pray. One day while he was teaching, Pharisees and teachers of the law were sitting nearby. They had come from every village of Galilee and Judea and from Jer Jerusalem, and the power of the Lord was with him to heal. Just then some men came carrying a paralyzed man on a bed. They were trying to bring him in and lay him before Jesus. But finding no way to bring him in because of the crowd, they went up on the roof and let him down with his bed, through the tiles into the middle of the crowd in front of Jesus. When he saw their faith, he said, Friend, your sins are forgiven you. Then the scribes and the Pharisees began to question, Who is this who is speaking blasphemies? Who can forgive sins but God alone? When Jesus perceived their questionings, he answered them, Why do you raise such questions in your hearts? Which is easier, to say your sins are forgiven you, or to say, stand up and walk, but so that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. He said to the one who is paralyzed, I say to you, stand up and take your bed and go to your home. Immediately he stood up before them, took what he had been lying on, and went to his home, glorifying God. Amazement seized all of them, and they glorified God and were filled with awe, saying, We have seen strange things today. you will, please join me now in a time together in prayer this morning. Let us now pray together. Dear Lord, you have brought us to the beginning of a new day. As the world is renewed, fresh and clean, so we ask you to renew our hearts with your strength and purpose. Forgive us the errors of yesterday and bless us to walk closer in your way today. This is the day we begin our life anew. Shine through us so that every person we meet may feel your presence in us. Take our hand, precious Lord, for we cannot make it by ourselves. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thank you all for joining me here this morning. Hope to see you here tomorrow at 8 a.m. I hope you all have a great Friday today.